Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you the TP sleeve for the tent protector over the stovepipe. So this is the TP sleeve, and you put your stovepipe through the middle, and then it hooks onto the top. So we're going to set it up. I've got to cut a bigger hole to fit this pipe in, this actual protector. So then I know when the wind's blowing, the tent won't be pushing up against the um, stovepipe because this will protect it quite a bit. So I'm going to find out if it fits for the height of the stove. If it doesn't, I might have to modify the length of the chain. But we'll just see. We'll have to put it in and fit it. I'll tell you the measurements of this. The stovepipe going through the centre is 60, 60 mil, so it's 6 centimetres. So what's this going to be? It's going to be a bit bigger. Measuring 60, so it's a, it's a tight fit. It's going to be over it, not really snug, if you can see that. The actual outside diameter is 13 so it's 13 which is 5 inch let's get the length it's 40 centimeters long so that's 15 and 3 quarter inch So now what I've got to do is create a bigger hole for this inside the um, tent and then try and get it through. So let's go and have a look inside. I want to create an, a new hole, but I don't want to make it any lower than this hole. So I'm going to draw a half circle around this tube. Not a perfect shape, but I want a tight fit. Now we need to cut a bit more on that. See how that goes, let's try and get the stove pipe on. So let's slip this over the pipe end that's going to go through. And hook it in. And it just hooks into the pipe. Just hooked in. Now we're going to push it through and try and get it together. Yeah, it's going to be too high. So for this today, I'm going to have to shorten the pipe. I'm going to have to extend those um those. I will have to extend the chains because it's going to be too high for the length of the pipe if I leave this piece on. So it's come out quite short compared to the, where that flap is on my tent. I want it so it's just above it, so if the wind blows it, it can't touch. I don't think it will, but if I push it up another inch and take the chains up to the top so they can hook in at the top, then that actually might be all right. So this is a bit of a play with to get the fit, but I feel that that could be all right. So let's take it out inside and then push those chains up to the top and see how that looks when I put it back in. Push these chains up to the top, gives me another inch or two. This is 
those in. Well, that's a lot better for the way it's gonna fit there. So that's never gonna to touch the pipe now. This is still within. This is how I need it. I have to have it like this. So that's still within the jack and that's not gonna to touch that. So if I extend the chain and put all my pipe in, I'll get my pipe as high as it should go and have this in the right place. So I need to buy some chain. So let's fire it up and then have a look at how hot it's gonna get. The fire's going really nice, nice and hot. I'll put some temperature readings out so you can see and we'll check what the protector's like. So on top of the fire, we're looking at about 300 Celsius. Bottom of the pipe, 180. 35 below the protector. Now the protector, I think that is going through it. Let's go sideways on it. It's 20. So I should be able to just hold that. It's not even warm. That's warm there. This isn't warm at all. Saying it's 20 on the outside. Well, that's reflected onto the pipe. Yeah, it's not hot. Not at all. You've got a really nice burn going on. So it does look like that protector works. I do want my flue higher though, so I will do the longer chain so that's in the right position, keep the flue up so it's above the tent height. So thanks for watching. I'll put all the links in the description. Don't forget to subscribe, share on social media, and like if you like the video. So TP sleeve flue protector to protect your tent, tent protector. Great bit of kit. It's, it's just peace of mind. You feel confident that if there's a bit of a flutter of wind, your tent isn't touching that pipe. And that's what I was bothered about in that previous video, if you remember. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.